Okay, here, Reckless Retiree here, and I wanted to show you um, what I'm doing here with the filters. Here is the new filter that I'm going to put in, wrapped in plastic, and um, I went ahead and I went ahead and cleaned this housing a little bit. It's not easy to clean. That's some iron out product that I put on it and uh, scrubbed it a bit. And one thing's fun about these filters is that they have this plastic on them that's really staticky. And it, it's, it's get hard to get off your hand, you know? It wants to stick to your hand. Anyway, so put the new filter in the filter housing. This is the old an old filter that I took out. Okay, so what I want to do right now is I have a scale right here, and I want to, I'm turning it on, it's zeroed out, I'm going to weigh a brand new filter. So, brand new filter weighs 4.36 ounces. So I have some paper here. And I'm going to put down this plastic. You can't get rid of it, I'm telling you. And there goes the cap for the pen. Okay, so new filter is uh, 4.36 ounces. Okay, now I'll put the use filter on here. And it weighs 4.43 ounces. That's not a whole lot of difference, is it? So that means I have 0.07 ounces of iron. I would have thought I'd have a lot more than that. But I have other filters here that I can weigh and see if they vary. Okay, here's one. And it's four point, how could that be 4.36 4 when the new filter? Well, these filters must not all weigh the same when they're new, is what I'm uh, uh, figuring out from this. Okay, here's another one. Let's see what it weighs. Well, here we go, 5.097 ounces. And so forth. 4.381. So I think what I'm determining from this is I have to filter, I have to filter, I have to weigh each filter independently, new and then dried with the iron in it to really determine how much iron I'm getting each time. Because I got, I weighed the new one, 4.36, I weighed an old one with iron, 4.36, that can't be. So therefore, um, and the other thing is that, as I saw in my, I showed you in my previous video, I burned up these filters in the uh, paint roller pan, and then I picked it all up with a magnet, and I put it in a bottle, and I can weigh that iron in the bottle. I haven't done that yet. And I know it's more than, what was it? seven hundredths of an ounce no uh, -uh that's not right that was four filters and i have about it. let's see how many do i have four five, six seven eight nine ten i have ten so there you go hey it's a reckless retiree here and uh I put a video on not too long ago that was about getting iron from my water, from my well water, from my well water filters. And what I want to do with that iron is either, I haven't decided yet, depends on how much I get, but I either want to melt it down and try to make a knife out of it, which I think would be pretty cool, or you may have seen my other video about uh, making hydrogen with aluminum and uh, dot and lye, excuse me. Uh, well, 
I think you can also do it with iron and lye. So I have to do some research on that. I've done a little bit. I think you can do it. But uh, I certainly can do an experiment. And so um, I'm collecting the, the lye from, excuse me, collecting the iron from my water. And I call this making lemonade out of lemons, right? Because who the heck wants to have a pre-filter to their well that you got to change once a week or once every two weeks because it's full of iron. And if you don't change it, then you end up with iron in your toilets and in your tubs, making a mess, smelling bad, affecting your wife's hair, all that kind of stuff. So I have a filter right now uh, to get rid of that iron. And I'll show you. So as you can see right here, this is my pre-filter. As you can see, it's very, very brown, full of iron. So I have to change that out. And then once I change that out, I take that filter and I put it in this pan down here and I let it dry until the next time I have to change a filter. And by that time that's dry. And then I store those away. I've been storing them all winter. And uh, I have a previous video that shows how I burned them, melted them, and got left with just the, the iron. So I'm going to attempt to change this filter and record it. It's not going to be easy because there's not a whole lot of room. But I'm going to try to, to do that with the camera here. All right, so what I have to do is hmm, really needs to be up higher like that. Hmm. Might be able to pop it back a little bit. There we go. That's better, I think. All right, so you got to turn the water valves off to the water. You push the little red button and releases the pressure. And then you take this special filter, I mean, filter housing wrench, and you push it away and unscrew the ha filter housing. And there you got. So then I dump it into this container I have down below. You can see how rusty that's, that is. And most of the time I don't bother to clean it because it's just going to get rusty again. So then I have to get a fil clean filter, put it in there, put it back up there, and then I have the filter to dry as, as I showed you. Here we have the third set of water filters melting over the burn barrel to get the iron. Over here, I found the bottle that uh, has the iron I've collected so far, if you can tell. So that's about four, no, eight uh, water filters worth of iron right there. And uh, so I have 10 more to to burn and uh, should fill the bottle about halfway. Water filter melting waterfall. Well, it wouldn't be waterfall, would it? It's more like plexa, plastic fall or nylon fall or whatever the heck they're made out of. I have no clue. <laughs> uh, you'll only see it here on the Reckless Retiree channel. Nowhere else will you see this. <laughs> uh, love fire. So the filters are about burned up, as well as the burn barrel is uh, about done. I have more to burn, but I just don't want to do it tonight. I'm cold, tired. Anyway, you can see the uh, rust 
in the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to get some welding gloves and put this in the uh, shed. Otherwise the wind might blow the, rust, the uh, light rust particles out of there. And then tomorrow when it's cool, I will pull it up with a magnet and put it in my bottle.